Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. Today we have uh, variables and brackets on both sides. We're going to solve these equations, we're going to isolate for the variable. We're going to have to move things around the equal sign. It's going to get awesome. Let's go. You can see the first question. This one just says variables on both sides, it's not brackets yet. So 9 times minus 1 minus 9k is equal to 7k minus 9. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the brackets using the distributive property. Let's multiply both of those. Minus nine, and then nine times minus nine is minus 81k is equal to seven k minus nine. I generally like to move the variable uh, parts of the equation to the left and the uh, constant parts of the variable to the right. Um, so let's see, here's what I would do. Okay, so we're going to move this part over this way, and we're going to move this over this way, which means that we're going to add 9 to this side, we're going to subtract 7k from this side. Right, if it's positive on this side, it's negative on the other side, and if it's negative on this side, it's positive on the other. So we would get minus 88k minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, I didn't do my um, work on this very well to start, but it's okay. Minus 88 is divided on both sides. Zero divided by something, um, well, 80, minus 88 goes into zero zero times. It will never go into it, no part of it will. So if you have zero on top, the answer is zero. So k is equal to zero. That is what would make this equation work. That is. Uh, solving for this one. So although it may seem like a trick question, it's the first one. Whenever you have zero on the top of a fraction, the answer ends up being zero. So I apologize for that, but also you're welcome. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, two times b plus eight is equal to six times b plus two. When I'm going to use the distributive property on both sides of the equation all at once, it's all in one step. So two times b is two b, and two times eight is 16. On the other side, six times b is six b, and six times two is 12. I, like I said, this is a b, just so we're aware. I like to bring the variables to the left, so I'm going to move this one over. And when I do, it's positive on this side, it becomes negative on this side. Well, I bring the positive 16 over, so it becomes negative 16 on this side. So 2b minus 6b, that's minus 4b, is equal to uh, 12 minus 16, that's minus 4. Divide both sides by minus 4. b is equal to 1, minus 4 divided by minus 4 is one. Okay, so we are isolating the variable, getting it all by itself, and then we uh, know what our answer will be. It should work out to a whole number or zero in most of these problems. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, we got a couple of long ones. All right, and this is it for the, for the uh, question. So two, nine x minus six, plus two times one plus x is equal to three x minus seven minus two x minus three. All right, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of things at once to hopefully simplify this, so let's go along. Two times nine is 18, the variable comes along that's 18 x. Two times minus six is minus 12. Two times one is two, two times x is 2x, both the number and the variable just come along. We're gonna combine like terms already on the right hand side. 3x minus 2x is just x. We have the same variable, the same exponent, we can combine them, that's just x. Minus seven minus three, that's minus 10. Okay, we're gonna combine like terms on this side. So 18x plus 2x, that's 20x. And then minus 12 plus two, Let's see here, that would be minus 10. That all equals x minus 10. 
Okay? I don't know if you see where this is going, but I see where this is going. And I did it again. That's all right. I just want to confirm here that I did this. 12, 2, that's 1. Minus 10. Yeah, all right. So then we're going to move this to the left. Subtract x. We're going to move this to the right. That's plus 10. I don't know if you see where this is going, but here we go. This is minus, sorry, this is 19x on this side. And that's equal to minus 10 plus 10 is 0. So if we make our fraction 0 over 19, right? 0 over 19, the answer is 0 whenever we have anything on top. So I didn't plan this. It looks like we have another answer of 0. At least now you're familiar with that. Fraction with 0 on top is 0. All right, 5, 5x minus 7 plus 5 is equal to minus 8 minus 2x plus 4 minus 7. All right, let's get rid of the brackets all in one step. 5 times 5 is 25, and the variable comes along. 5 times minus 7 is minus 35. Add the 5, and that's equal to minus 8 times minus 2. That's just 16x, and 8 times 4 is 32. So that's negative 32, because we have a negative times a positive. We go ahead and we have subtracted 7. So let's combine like terms on both sides. Uh, 25 doesn't combine with anything on this side. So it's just 25x. Minus 35 plus, 30, plus 5, that's minus 30. It's equal to 16x stays with it on that side. And we have minus 39 on that side. I like to move the variables over to the left. So let's go ahead and do that positive on this side becomes negative on this side and this one is negative so it becomes positive on the other side 25 minus 16 that's 9x and then minus 39 plus 30 that's minus 9 we divide both sides by 9 x is minus 1 okay so we're doing the same thing where we're getting rid of the brackets we are combining like terms. We're moving things across the equal sign. Um, these equations get a little bit more complicated as we go along. Um, but yeah, I, this might be these might be the toughest ones for now. Um, getting familiar with algebra is very, very important. Um, but thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next lesson, which is a little bit different. Um, see you soon.